Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to copy the selected grid view rows into another grid view control. And here we got the final output. Let's select the rows from this grid view control Mark, Sam, and Smith. I have selected three rows from this grid view control. Let's copy the rows from grid view 1 to grid view 2. See here we got the records. Oops, here the name is missing. Stop debugging. Uh, here the header text. Name. I'm rerunning the browser link. Let's check the final output. And here we got the complete final output and the header text name is also added. Let's uncheck the Smith and Mark. Copy those from grid view 1 to grid view 2. Current. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice in this browser, I already binded an employee table to this grid view control, which is a grid view 1 with the checkbox controls. If you don't know how to bind the table from database into a grid view control, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get the link. Okay, let's start our task here. I will add one button control and one another grid view control. Whatever the rows I have selected this from this grid view one control, when I click button control, I want to pass or copy the selected grid view rows into the another grid view control. Let's open Visual Studio. Now come to the bottom, after the horizontal line, I am adding one button control, open toolbox, button control, I am changing the button text to copy rows from gd grid view 1 to grid view 2 and I am changing the button id to button copy button copy break after break I'm adding one grid view control open toolbox in the data folder there is a grid view control let's add that grid view control now in this grid view control let's add the property auto generate columns is equals to false after that I'm adding columns template field item template in this item template I am adding the label control to display this the column names name email and salary so let's so let's add the label control open toolbox label control the label name the text is instead of writing the code again I'm just copying this part email the salary these two fields also that's it we have done the designing part now the coding part switch to the design mode double click the button control now in the button click event I'm adding the data table class whatever the selected rows from the grid view 1 I want to add in the data table first after that I will bind the data table object to the grid view 2 control so let's add the data table dt is equals to new data table Let's add the columns dt dot columns dot add. First column name is a name, comma semicolon. This one is an email. This one is a salary. We have three columns: name, email, and salary. Name, email, and salary. 
after that after adding the columns to the data table in the next step I want to only copy or transfer the selected checkbox rows from the grid view control so for that I'm using for each loop each grid view row 0 in the object here is a grid view 1 we are selecting the values from the grid view 1 only now grid view 1 dot rows property after that I am creating a variable for the checkbox select is equals to 0 dot find control the checkbox is in the grid view control so we have to find the control id of the checkbox checkbox 1 paste here as I am adding the checkbox class if checkbox select dot checked string name is equals to find control between double quotes the name column id is a lv name this is the id of the name as label control let's put this into brackets dot text property string email is equals to grow dot find control let's add the email id of the label which is a lab email copy this one and paste here as label dot text string last one is a salary is equals to grow dot find control the salary label id is lab salary copy this one and paste here as label dot text after that let's bind the selected rows to the data table dt dot this data table object dot rows property dot add method I'm adding this variable name object name email comma salary The last one let's bind the grid view control grid view 2 dot data source is equals to dt grid view 2 dot data bind method that's it we have done the complete coding part google chrome and here we got the final output let's select the rows from this grid view control mark sam and smith i have selected three rows from this grid view control let's copy the rows from grid view one to grid view two see here we got the records oops here the name is missing stop debugging uh, here the header text name I'm rerunning the browser link let's check the final output and here we got the complete final output and the header text name is also added let's uncheck the Smith and mark copy those from grid view 1 to grid view 2 current that's it